Hey guys, and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness. Today I have a no equipment summer shredder workout for you. It is gonna be super fun, super sweaty, and we are doing it outside. So if you have a chance to do that, you go right ahead. So you will not need any equipment, like I said, but you can use your weighted vest if you'd like. I'm always a proponent for going extra crazy if you can. So grab your weighted vest if you want it, grab lots of water and a nice towel and your can-do attitude because we have new formats today. We have footwork drills, we have buns and guns Tabata, and we have an ab finisher. So it's gonna take all the fortitude you have mentally and physically. So grab your stuff or not, and I will see you back here for the warm-up. All right, guys, let's get ready with a good warm-up. All right, we're gonna start off with some butt kickers. So you can do these, low impact, add a little back squeeze if you want, or you can take them right up, make them high impact. Such a nice day again, I had to get outside. All right, we are going to transition into some lunges. Just forward lunges, opening up that hip, getting our quads and glutes, hip flexors ready to work. As you get more warm, reach and dig a little deeper. You can add some arms here, doing a bicep curl. You could row, whatever you wanna do, just keep lunging. All right, all right, done with that. Now we're gonna go into some side to side toe touches and switch. So one, two, three, switch the other way. One, two, three, switch this way. One, two, three, did that one a little bit off. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. Awesome. All right, shake it out. Now we're gonna do some karaoke. So cross behind, cross in front. Other way, behind, in front. We're just opening up those hip flexors and that hip. So you're gonna step behind, step in front, behind, in front. Good job. One more each side. All right, jog it back up. We're gonna open those hips. Looks funny, but it's so good. I make my dad do these before we run and he feels super silly, but they really help to get your hip joints ready to work, your glutes ready to work. Because remember when we're standing on one leg and we're abducting that leg away from the midline of the body, we're using our gluteus medius muscles. All right, let's go down for a few push-ups. Good positioning on your hands, down, up. Down, up, up, up. Keep that core super tight. Awesome. Hop it back up. Your warm up is complete. Let's get ready for this workout. 
All right, guys, we are ready for that first set. Now, this is gonna be a little different format than we have tried to tackle together before. So let me explain it real quick before we go in. We're gonna start with 30 seconds of skater burpees. Then we're gonna immediately go into 30 seconds of eight mountain climbers, eight forearm mountain climbers. Then we are going to rest for 20 seconds. We're gonna do that four different times, okay? We have three different groups that we're doing this for. So anyway, hope it doesn't get confusing. Hope it's just a lot of fun. But we're gonna start right away when that timer goes off into skater burpees. So, all right, move my mat here a little bit. Gonna hit that timer. Awesome, so skate to one side. Burpee with the push-up or not, skate to the other side. If you wanna do no push-up, that's fine. So immediately when this timer goes off, When it goes off right away, we're gonna do mountain climbers for eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up, one, four, six, eight. Take it down. Try to alternate arms. Five, six, eight. Up again, two, four, six, seven, eight. All right, 20 seconds rest. Then we're gonna do it again. Same moves. I may move my skater burpees to back and forth here because I'm falling down the hill. All right, here we go, skater burpees. Skate, burpee. You can take yours into a skater and curtsy if you want. You can just skate, hover, do a one leg burpee. I like that. That's fun. A lot of ab control, core control here. Oh, awesome. All right, right into those mountain climbers for eight. Down. Up, down, over halfway there, up, down, awesome, rest, two more rounds of this, remember those skater burpees can be done a lot of ways. Whew. Shake it out, breathe it out. <clears throat> Here we go. Skater. One leg burpee or two. You can do two if you feel more stable. If you're outside on slippery grass, <laughs> that might be better to do two. Add that push up if you want. Try to stay stable as you can. Being a skater myself, we love the one-legged everything, so <laughs> mountain climbers. So those one-legged burpees are good for us. Eight again. Down you go for eight. Up with that arm. Five seconds. Take it down. Awesome. Oh. Up you go again. Get into that next round. Get a nice drink. Let's step out here for that. All right. Same thing. Here we go. Skate. Still rehabbing my shoulder. So my push-ups are not what they should be 
in terms of range of motion at the current moment, but it's getting better. Seven seconds, big jump. All right, mountain climbers. For eight, down. Your hips can be up for this part. Up. Halfway there. Woo. Awesome. All right, break again. You can keep those legs moving, totally fine. <sighs> awesome job. All right guys, getting right into that next set. Your first move is gonna be a jump forward, back, up. Okay, your second move is gonna be a half burpee, plus a push up, plus up, squat, pulse. So half burpee, push up, up, squat, pulse. Okay, all right, let's do this. Starting right away, Woo! jump forward, jump back, jump up. So forward, back, up, forward, back, up forward, back, jump up. Awesome job. Oh yeah. Four, three, two, one. All right, here comes that half burpee. Woo. All right, half burpee, push up. One, two, pulses. Forgot one part. Let's stick three pulses in there. One, two, three, burpee, push up. One, two, three, awesome. Here's your first break. Great work. Hope y'all can still see me. Always nervous being this far away from the camera in the bright sun. <sighs> Breathe it out. Here we go. Jump forward, back, up. Forward, back, up. Forward, back, up. Don't think about the time. <sighs> up, forward, back, up. Forward, back, up. Smile through the burn. Back, up. Think about how strong your legs are. Almost there. Very good. Straight away. Half burpee. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, very good. Very, very good. That's your second set done. Take a breather. I'm gonna grab a drink. You should do. Almost there. Jump forward, back and up. So, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 20 seconds. Just kind of switching around our rest. Going hard for a whole minute, two different exercises, then resting, two rest intervals. Eight seconds, you got it. Back, up, forward, back, up. Very good. Oh. Straight into those half burpees. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. Push up. Very good. Third round is finished. I think we got one more, friends. If my timer is set up right, that's just right. All right. Breathe it out. Last one. Forward, back, up. Forward, back, up. Forward, back, up. Forward, back, up. 15 to go. You're halfway there, guys. You can do this. I can do this. You can do this. Three, two, one. Very good. Half burpee. Push up. One, two, three. Don't forget to get the weight in the outside of that palm to protect your wrist. One, two, three. Very good. You're all done with this second set. Take a breather, we'll move on to the third. All right guys, we are ready for that next set. We're gonna do diamond squat jumps and mat hops. So your diamond squat jumps are gonna look like this. You're going to do an X in the middle. So back and forth, back and forth. Then your mat hops, of course, are gonna be hands on the mat, try to butt kick over, okay? 30 seconds on, 30 seconds on. Here we go. All right, diamond squat jumps. Almost there. Straight into math hops. Four, three, two, one. Very good. Straight into those mat hops. Kick. Whew. If you need to, you can keep them low here. Okay. Really challenge yourself. Don't worry if stuff shakes. Muscle shakes too. Ah, very good. Took forever for that rest period to come, but it's here. Same thing again. Diamond squat jumps. Awesome. Here we go. These should be called X squat jumps. These are making an X. Almost there. Five more seconds. Very good. <clears throat> Straight into those mat hops. All right. <clears throat> you can do them fast or slow. I'm doing four and four this time because I get bored. You know me. Very good. Second round, knocked out. Get a drink, especially if you're outside. Whew. All right, here we go. Diamond jumps. Get low. Whew. 
Almost there. Very good. Mad hops. Two, three, four, four fast. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, all right. Third one, smashed. You got it. Awesome job, guys. Back into those diamond hops when you're ready. All right, diamond hops, diamond squat jumps. My dad just came, so I'm gonna pause the video after this one to say hi to him. All right, 30 more seconds of mat hops. Then do it slow. One, two, three, four. 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 Very good guys, take a break and I'll meet you right back here for the next set. All right guys, we're ready to get into another fun and brutal set. We are gonna be doing footwork drills. So the first move we're gonna do is lateral fast feet, up and back. When you get about mat's length, come back leading with that other foot, okay? All right, that's your first move. We get us set up here. All right, you have 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Lateral fast feet, up and back. You can do this over a jump rope. Kind of judge your distance. We wanna go as fast as we can. I'll show you this direction. Start again. Awesome. All right, next you have alternating pistol squats. So I'm gonna do mine the downhill way just cause I know I will fall downhill if I don't. So down you go. One, two, three. I don't know why I'm counting. This number will get gradually slower and lower as we get through this. All right, good job. That's a tough one. You can always do one-legged squats there or anything else. Now we're gonna do a circle run. So you're gonna just take it around in circles. Fast feet. Switch. Switch directions. Switch. Switch. Nice big circle, switch. 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 Awesome, stay by the bell. Okay. After this one, we are going into a single leg burpee, a single leg tuck, and a switch kick. So, here we go. Single leg burpee. Tuck, switch kick. You don't have to put that push up in there. I'm probably gonna have to take these to the grass. Because balance is key with this. 
and it's not happening. Whew. All right, very good. Hurdle, four count fast feet. So, big jump. One, two, three, four. Hurdle, one, two, three, four. Come to the front. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Taking up the speed. One, two, three, four. Very good. Awesome. All right. Pop squats are next. Here we go. Down up. These are going to feel real good after those diamond squat jumps. Four, three, two, one. Very good. Ten seconds. You are back to the beginning with those fast feet. All right. Switching directions, leading with the left, leading with the right. Fast feet. I know your calves are burning. I'm finding all the mole holes today at my house. Whew. All right. Alternating pistol squats. Here we go. It's okay if you get off balance, as you can see. I do too. Whew. It really helps me to grab for that toe. Gets my weight in the right spot on my foot. Next, we've got whew, circle runs. All right, here we go. Make that circle. Burn a hole in your grass. Or your floor, switch. 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 Almost there. Awesome. Not easy. Not easy. All right. Hurdle. Plus the fast feet. I'm gonna take mine this way. Hurdle. One, two, three, four. Now that you have to move, make your feet faster. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, woo, woo, awesome. All right, pop squats, last move in this set. Here we go. Few seconds left. Make them faster. And one. Whew. Very good, guys. Think you have one more round of these? Oh yeah. Breathe it out. All right. Up and back. Switch.
calves are burning. Awesome. All right, I think we got those pistols next. Oh yeah. Very good. All right. Ooh, legs are getting tired. It's okay. Do what you can. Almost didn't save that one. Very good. We made it. All right. Next one is circle runs. Very good. Going to the right. Switch. Woo. I must smell like poop. The flies are buzzing. Switch. Other way. Know what that is? Other way. Switch. Awesome. I'm gonna get away from that bee. All right. Whew. Single leg burpee. Down we go. Hopefully it goes away. Whatever that was. Single leg burpee. Push up or not. One leg tuck. Switch kick. One leg will tuck probably a little better than the other. Don't get alarmed. Awesome. Woo! In and on a bang there. All right. Hurdle. Four count. Taking it to the side. Here we go. Hurdle. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, 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 four, one, two, awesome, last time for that. Pop squats, your last move. I hope I'm still somewhere in front of the camera. I think it moved. It's a problem with not having a cameraman other than yourself. Woo. And I'm not a good one, uh, but it's all good. Y'all know what to do if you can't see me. 10. Five, three, two, one. Ah, oh, awesome job, guys. You are all done with these footwork drills. Take a quick break and a drink, and I'll see you right back here. All right, guys, I think I got rid of that B, and we are ready for that buns and gun set. So our first move, these are gonna to be Tabata pairs. So our first move is going to be a yoga push-up. Our second move is going to be a sumo squat pulse, okay? So I'll do my yoga push-up this way and then I'll maybe pulse to the front all right just so you can see what we need to do you have 10 seconds so yoga push-ups can also be done on your knees okay so you can take that knee down or that nose down just like that okay twenty seconds that's all Four, three, two, one. Awesome. 10 seconds. We're going to squat pulse. I'm going to use a prayer hand here, prayer pose. Toes and knees out wide. Pulse it. Keep smiling. Try not to bounce. 
Unless, of course, you have good music on, then by all means. Just kidding. And very good. All right. Back to those yoga push-ups. Again, they can be done on the knees, okay? Here and here. Okay? Concentrating on those triceps. Very good. All right, sumo squat. I might take mine this way this time. It's definitely a little bit of a slope. Back up straight, tall. If you're lucky enough to be outside, look at something beautiful. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Good job. Grab a drink if you need it. I'm gonna wipe off my face. We're back to yoga push-ups. Woo! Here we go. Pick your modification. Stick that tail up. Very good. Ah. Five seconds. You guys are doing great. Ah. All right. Sit in those heels. You can't tell that there's as much great as there is out here from there. I was watching my last video. I'm like, they're gonna think I'm nuts. There's no hill, but there is. I promise. Very good. All right, we have one more of each to go. You guys got this. Here we go. Yoga push-ups. Very good. Whew. Almost lost it on that last one. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get a quick drink. Sumo squat pulses for the last time. All right. Whew. Facing my goats, although they have decided today they're not going to make much of an appearance. They are laying under a tree. Smart girls. Their names are Gretchen. Gladdy and Gertie. All right, you're finished with that first set. Let's get geared up for your second. All right, guys, your next set in this buns and guns part is going to be scapular push-ups to a dolphin, and then we're gonna pair those with forearm straight leg raises. So scapular push-up, you're here, push down, raise to a dolphin, push down. So you're lowering just the shoulders here, and you're on your forearms. Your next move is gonna stay on your forearms, with some straight leg raises, okay? Now, the scapular push-ups can be done on your knees. Then you can come up in the dolphin. The straight leg raises, you can stay down on one knee and just do one leg per interval and just flip-flop them each time. So, you decide what's good for you. You have 10 seconds. Here we go. Down on those forearms, scapular push-up, dolphin. This is your guns move for your arms. The cool thing about this set is that both the buns and gun sets really challenge that upper body. So, awesome. I'm gonna get a towel, it's starting to slip. All right. All right, here we go. Raise those legs. We don't have to go far, but flex that foot. Squeeze, all right. Give your arms a 10 second break. 
before we get back into those scapular push-ups to a dolphin. Here we go. Down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. Down, up. Excellent. All right. Next set of those straight leg raises. If you're on your knee and just doing one leg at a time, switch legs. All right, here we go. Squeeze the glute, think about what you're doing. Don't just throw that leg up there. About five seconds to go. And one. Very good. All right. Whew, how's everybody doing? I'm having fun. Hope you're having fun. All right. Here we go. Scapular retractions. Nope. Scapular push-ups. <laughs> I just did a mobility video yesterday for a client and had her do scapular retractions, which were not this move. Very good. Relax those forearms. Shake out your shoulders. Whew. All right. Forearm straight leg raises. Here we go. Good for the abs as well. Very good. I want to see which set we're on. I think we have, whew, can't see it. One more of each to go. One more scapular push up to dolphin. One more of those leg raises. Very good. All right. Last of those glute raises. I am sweating bullets. All right, here we go. Which is appropriate for those guns and buns moves. Awesome. All right. Whew. You are all finished with these Tabata pairs. The only thing that we have left, guys, are some ab moves. So I'm going to reset my camera and I'll meet you back here for that. All right, guys, we are ready to tackle that ab set. We're going to have five moves. We're going to do them twice. We're starting out with a two way plank jack. So you have 10 seconds. All right. Here we go. So what that's going to look like is a plank jack here, turn to the side, plank jack, okay? So really, it's a toe touch with plank jack. Now, if you cannot do the side move, just come up on your knee and do it. And if that's too much, what you might do is just come to your side and crunch in that way. All right, your next move is gonna be a skater hop to the left only with lateral high knees. So you're gonna go skate to the left, one, two, three, four, five. Skate to the left, one, two, three, four, five. This is making me go downhill. So I'm going to do it this way, knees up, this way you can hold me accountable for getting those knees up, you'll be able to see. Three seconds, all right, a little bit of a cardio abs move there. Now we're going to do a reverse crunch with two toe taps down. So. Reverse crunch, one leg, two legs, 
reverse crunch. One leg, two legs. These are only 30 second intervals. Really slow those legs down as you take them down so that you'll have to have a lot more control. We're shredding for summer. We're shredding to be healthy, but it just happens to be summer. All right, next we are going into those skater hops to the right with the lateral high knees. So jumping only to the right leg, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Got a hole there. One, two, three, five. All right, awesome. Now we're just gonna do some forearm hip dips. You can absolutely do these from your knees. Not a problem, okay? So, here we go. We're going to dip here, nice and slow, or you can come to those knees, dip there. As long as you get a good twist and you're contracting in that plank position, you should be good to go. All right, all right, Whew. awesome work. All right, we are back to the beginning with that two-way plank jack. Remember your modifications. Go on your knees, go on that hip. Side, up. down. You can add two jacks if you want. You can add two toe touches each side if you want. It takes a lot of flexibility and control. So work on it. Don't be discouraged if you don't get it. Ooh, know what that was. All right. Skater hop to the left. Lateral high knees. All right. Down. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five. One, two, four, five. One, two, four, five. One, two, four, five. One, two, three, five. One, two, four, five. Very good. All right, heading back to the reverse crunch with a toe tap. So back on your back, up, tap. Enjoy the beautiful day. Think about what your goal is, crush it. My goal for the past couple of months was to get my legs strong enough and the muscles around my knees strong enough to do a pistol squat. So now I gotta find a new goal, although they still need a lot of work. <laughs> All right, now we're jumping to the right with those lateral high knees. I'm gonna try down here, got a lot of holes. I must be disturbing the moles. Happy home here. Awesome. Whew, last time for that one. Now we are going into those forearm hip dips for the last time. Then we'll cool down. All right, here we go.
doing good. Remember, you can use those knees to help you. All right, you guys are all finished with this workout. All right, guys, you earned this cool down. Let's go ahead and get it started. I want you to just start by kind of twisting your torso here, reaching, pulling back, just to get that back back in business here. All right, now let's cross those arms at the elbows, go into some bent rockers or rocking the baby. My legs are covered in grass and I'm sure we'll soon be covered in hives, <laughs> but this was so worth it. Really let the weight of your head lengthen that spine. All right, slowly pivot that right foot in front. Go down into a half lunge. Nice stretch there. You can take those arms up. Really stretch through those shoulders here. Breathe. Okay, hands down. I want your hands to come to the left of that right foot. Open up your hip here. Awesome. Back up onto that leg. All right, take it up. Take it center. Get a little hamstring stretch here. Try to get down to your forearms if you can. If you can't, no big deal. And up. Let's pivot that left foot. Come down on the right knee. Get those arms up. Really stretch the spine, lift the chest. Draw those inner thighs close to each other to help you get that balance and tighten the core as well. All right, bring those hands down. I want them to the right of that left foot. Open up that hip. Show yourself the bottom of your foot. Open that hip. Very good. Coming up top again. Pushing into that hip flexor. You should feel this on the front of your right leg. Awesome, now both hands down on either side of that foot. Step the back foot up to the front. I want you to bend your knees here, flat back. Get a nice little stretch here. Now I want you to round out those shoulders, reach for the toes. Come all the way back up, nice and slowly. Roll those shoulders out. Now we're gonna reach for the toes and stretch the quad. So stand on that left foot. We're gonna reach for the toes of the right foot. You can either send that left hand straight up or straight out to the side. Get some good counterbalance going on here. All right, switch sides. Woo. Right hand up or to the side. Send those hips forward. Tug on those toes. Awesome. All right, release that. We're gonna do a couple inhales and exhales. So inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, and exhale down. Awesome job today, guys, and I will see you back at the camera for our send off. All right, guys, awesome job crushing this workout. I hope you had a lot of fun. I hope you are super sweaty and feel super strong and challenged. Now what I need you to do is drink a lot of water today. Get a healthy post-workout meal on your plate 30 to 90 minutes after this crusher. And if you have any questions about what a good, healthy post-workout meal might be or how to put it together, please email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com or comment down below. We love hearing from you. Also, if you need a more tailored nutrition plan to help you get shredded for summer, 
then also contact us. We would love to help you. VelvetHammerFitness at gmail.com. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Please tell your friends and family about us. We would absolutely love to help them get into the best shape of their lives as well and have a little fun doing it. So catch us on Instagram, Facebook, support us on Patreon if you feel led to do so. You will get even more brutal workouts every month, some that you get to vote on, and even more tips for healthy living. So check it out if you haven't yet. <laughs> Other than that, have an awesome day. Oh, I am just so thankful for the love that you all surrounded me with last week when I got a few comments that were less than fun. But um, I was just really amazed at how our community came together and was so kind to me. So I would challenge you this week to find somebody who may be struggling with something similar. Um, maybe they were struggling with unkind words or maybe just struggling with their workouts. Um, I want you to reach out to them and just be the love to them that you were to me last week. I am so grateful for it. It was just an absolute blessing to me to have such a fortress of love and support around me. So you are incredible. Um, don't ever forget it. And make sure you share some of that beauty with someone else this week. So whether you were just feeling super shredded or whether you shredded up your whole lawn with all those burpees, you finished. And it is your health today and every day. So you better hit it hard. Boom! Have an awesome week, guys, and I am so thankful for you. See you next time.